guys what's going on it's grim and it has been quite some time I will say that uh, it's been probably a good two months since I've made any type of uh, video or anything uh, since day Z and I'm here to show you why uh, this is Arma 3 uh, specifically this is Arma 3 Altus Life uh, developed by TAW Tonic uh, Brian Boardwine and uh, you know, he put up this mod for everybody to use, and it's kind of like a big community, and we all chip in, and we share scripts, and, you know, we share our different ideas, and uh, it's kind of cool because we all do it differently, uh, but we, you know, we all have the same kind of goal in mind. So, uh, right now, I'm just on a helicopter trip, and I'm going to collect some crocodile, or crocodile, or whatever you want to call it, to go make some drugs. I just gathered some meth. Uh, so yeah, let me show you the uh, map. I don't know if you're familiar with Altus Life, then you're familiar with the map. Uh, this is not your normal map that you would see in Altus Life. Uh, hang on a second, let me put this in a hover so I don't crash in the meantime. Um, but basically guys, this is uh, my server. I've developed the whole thing um, using uh, Tonics, Armor 3, Altus Life. Um, I uh, incorporated the MySQL in the database and the saving, and I have used scripts found throughout the community. I've uh, added some of my own things. Uh, uh, so right now, just you know, let me go through the map a little bit. Um, you only have three civil uh, civ spawns. You can uh, spawn at the airport, Athera, or uh, or me. Sorry, no. Uh, Athera and Thrakia and Pergos, and if you own a Rebels license. Uh, what I did was I made it so if you own a Rebels license, you can't spawn here. You only have three Rebel spawns that you can spawn at. So if you don't have a license, you can spawn anywhere in these three spawn, point, uh, spawn points. Or if you do have a Rebel license, you can only spawn uh, here, here, and here. So that way if you're a Rebel, then you have to be a Rebel. That's how you're going to live. I will say this. Uh, it's You know, the server's only been up not even a full week. Um... So I'm still kind of just debugging at this point. When more people get on, I can find more bugs. Excuse me. And uh, so I'm going to put some more towns down here along these ways for the rebels. But there's plenty of shops. Two shops here, two shops here. Um, plenty of drugs, man, lots of drugs in here. There's plenty of coke, plenty of <laughs> weed plants, uh, weed fields. Uh, it just feels funny saying that shit. Uh, but I've also added, I've added meth and crocodile for the Russians. So and you can come down here to the crocodile cookhouse and cook it up. I uh, also have, you know, your typical delivery uh, drop-off points. Um, so you can go and get a mission for any one of them, or you can go to the main mission house and do all that. Uh, and these are the caution areas uh, just for police. If you're a new cop, you can kind of learn these are the, where the areas you want to go, because these are where all the drug fields are. Uh, but this is the cool part here, I think. Uh, it's it's the No Rules Island, man. Uh, if you, you go past, past this checkpoint, and, you know, and the no the rules don't apply here. The server rules still apply. No hacking, no, you know, doing stupid shit. But as far as uh, Altus laws and RDM, VDM, it's all free down here, man. There's you come down here at, at your own risk. So I kind of wanted to give something for everybody, those who want to role play and keep it real and, you know, play the way they want to play. And every once in a while, you may just want to go get a rebel license and go fucking shoot them up for a night with a bunch of people. And if that works out, then that works out. But it's still rel relatively new, so I just wanted to kind of hop in it and show you. Um, but right now, I just, I'm just literally testing some uh, items, and we're going to see... If I can get some crocodile, and then I'm gonna go to the cookhouse. Oh wait, I don't. I gotta find it. Where is that? Oh yeah, right here. Crocodile supplies in the town. And then I'm gonna go to the crocodile cookhouse and cook it up. And then I'm gonna go to the methamphetamine house and cook that up. So it's uh, it's definitely interesting. It's new for me. Uh, pretty much taught myself this whole language here in the last two to three weeks. I had a little help from uh, eBay to set up the initial uh, file structure and getting set up proper. Why is this guy descending properly? Um, but yeah, it, it's going good and you know everything I've done, I've done myself and just the uh, just to learn it and uh, figure out the problems and there's been many nights I've, I've been out a lot of nights and uh, so I look forward now uh, being able to go back to sleep and kind of just hang out instead of staying up all night trying to work on stuff. 
picture, the spawns are working, and all that. So, and there's there's three types of spawns. There's rebel, civ, and all well, four. Rebel, civ, cop, and donor. Donor spawns are available on uh, both uh, rebel and civils. Doesn't matter what you are. Uh, put on cop, it's not available on cop. Just because if you're gonna play as a cop, then you don't get anything out of the donator shop. That's how I feel about it. So. All right, I'm in the crocodile area, so now I can just walk around and gather some crocodile. Yay! If you really want to roleplay, you'd kind of just come over here and be like, doo doo doo, I'm moving this thing around. I'll gather some more crocodile. There we go. So I don't know how much I have on me or how much I can carry, but I gotta see here. And also, uh, all these items save except for drugs. Uh, the drugs do not save. So uh, that's a little bit of comfort. All your gear should save and all that. So you'll see up here in the uh, corner a little game auto save. So I've gone ahead and gathered some crocodile and some meth. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, plot a point here for the crocodile house, which is over here. I know where they all are. Sip of my Capri Sun there. All right, so the Crocodile House is only 2k away, and on this gigantic ass map. Um, oh yeah, and also like these are rebel controlled areas. So basically, what that means for cops uh, is if they go in that area, it's pretty much at their own risk. Uh, they know that they can be shot on sight in that area. So I, I, if you're gonna be if you're gonna be going in that area, I would recommend going in with a, a full squad. And uh, I'm gonna go cook this stuff up real here, uh, right here, real quick. Um, so I'm gonna cook up the crocodile and the methamphetamine, and then I'm actually gonna spawn it as a cop and show you some of the stuff that I've added in for the cops because I've added in a lot of cool stuff, and it's all you know from the armor community. And I'm gonna you know update everything because I want to thank everybody and give everybody credits where the credits fucking do. Uh, because for a lot of these people, without them doing what they're what they do, and you know they spend a lot of free time doing this shit, and uh, it's nice to be able to you know, give back at least any way that you can, help them out. Um, you know, I've definitely donated my fair share to the right people when I think I've needed to. So it's uh, it's good to be a, it's good to be a part of a community and uh, to be fair. Oh. All right, we didn't blow the motor. That's good. All right, so now we need an exact location. All right, yeah, I'm way off. It's all right though. If I remember, this guy's inside this little slum house. Yeah, he should be. But uh, it, it's been neat. It's been a fun ride, man. Learning all this uh, coding and how to work with the map editor and all that kind of shit. So you know, he was wearing a different shirt before. And he's in the ground, so I'll fix him. You know, no big deal. Just gonna go ahead and make the crocodile. Cooking crocodile, one percent. I don't even know if this works. I'm hoping it does. I don't know why I won't get past one percent. Maybe I'll stay here for a minute. I don't know. Maybe I forgot something. I don't know. All right. <clears throat> so I uh was interrupted and ended up uh, doing some other things and uh, I went to the methamphetamine worked uh, the crocodile did not um, but I made went and made some edits I saw where I made a mistake so I'm actually going to test it right now but I just crashed my helo uh, luckily I lived so now I'm gonna go up to this uh, next town over is a rebel outpost um, so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go get a new uh, new vehicle Probably a helicopter. I have plenty of money. Uh, pretty much just testing stuff, make sure it works. But I have a nice little jog on me. But, uh, I mean, you know, scenery is fucking beautiful, man. It's epic. It really is. And, I, you know, I gotta be honest, a part of me wants to turn this into, like, a <laughs> military type, uh, type of thing. To where it's uh, civilian rebels versus ongoing military. 
So that's always a thought. But it's pretty late right now. It's like uh, after midnight. I gotta get up in a couple of hours. But I'm uh, I'm obsessed right now. So I've just been uh, working on it, and uh, you know I hope you uh, if you come play, I, I hope you do. But if uh, if you come and play, I uh, tell you what, if you uh, send me a message or whatever, and if you're in game and say, hey, I saw you, I saw your video, and I'm here to play, I'll uh, I'll give you an extra ten grand cash. Uh, so that's always good to know. But uh, we're almost here to the Rebel Outpost. It's uh, I believe it's that house right there, next next to that uh, actual outpost. It's more like a uh, side outpost next to the windmill factory. But here's my Rebel uh, Rebel gear, and uh, like I said, I got these spawns working, so now I can. Uh, and now if you're a rebel, you can actually play rebel side, and there's no more uh, nonsense, so. Well, I, don't, I just don't think you need to add a faction for it. I feel like if uh, they were true rebels, they would uh, learn how to blend in and get supplies. Uh, don't get me wrong, like I said, I'll add some towns and stuff so the rebels can live in their own little world. But uh, I definitely want them to try and come into town and get the things they need and infiltrate, you know. Makes for fun stories. I guess that's more or less what I'm kind of excited about, is to see what kind of stories. Uh, I'm not generally a role-playing kind of person, um, but I do definitely see the fun in this, and I hope uh, to have some good times. All right, so let's, uh, let's get us a vehicle here. Let's get a little hummingbird. Let's go with the Rebel, Rebel Digital. However, I'm not gonna buy this one permanently. Because I will, uh, just destroy it. Where's me, though? Uh-oh. Did I not? Oh, man. Oh, that spawn tree right here. Let me try the vehicle. Maybe I just didn't. Oh, it says I bought a hummingbird. Uh, let's see if I can get my F rat. Okay, I got my the garage works. All right, so uh, probably just like a misnamed marker. Uh, that's that's the fun of scripting, guys. It's shit like this. Uh, you, you know, you map it and you build and you work and you work. Um, well, hang on. Yeah, no, I can't get out of a helo in that garage. So now I'm going to drive over here to the crocodile cookhouse, and I am going to go process my crocodile, and I'm going to go sell it to the Russians. Out for that randomly placed uh, portable generator. It's only 2.6k. It's not bad. It's not bad in my sick ass Ifrit. What the fuck do you think about that? It's pretty fucking badass. It's just a flat black mat. I uh, I'll be honest. I, I saw it in another server and I was like, wow, that's a fucking beautiful looking Ifrit. So I uh, just grabbed a flat black mat. Worked out pretty well. Um. But uh, I'm going to cut this drive uh, for the journey here so you don't need to waste time. And then I'll cut it back when we're making the crocodile. And then I will uh, just give you a quick rundown on the, uh, oh shit, on the cops. Oh man, I'm fucking hauling out. Oh shit, big rock. This thing don't steer that well. Um, oh god. Son of a bitch. Wow. 1.8k. Alright, I will uh, stop recording here and I'll just run and then I will uh, pick it back up. Alright, so I, uh, I made it to the crocodile and it did work. A um, uh, little issue with the license name. Uh, you can see here. Oh, it doesn't show it. Uh, it had a weird name to it, so I gotta look into that. Uh, but it did work and I did process my shite. Um, and now I'm back as a cop and so I want to show you. Check out my nice little uni. Uh, obviously, Booney hat is not standard issue. Um, and so here are my cop trucks. Uh, here's a police off-road. I got these skins from an Arma 3 add-on. Uh, he put it up. I, I don't know. I just grabbed it. It's like an LAPD. No, not LAPD. It was, a, it was a cop's one. And I just grabbed the skins out of it, and I kind of edited them up a little bit, changed the numbers on them. 
uh, here in the Hunter. I used the, the, the Hunter one that they had, but I uh, blacked it out and put the SWAT on there. Um, that was on there, just made that red. But the uh, sirens are pretty neat, so let's go ahead and unlock it. Yeah, you hear the little beep beep. It's nice. Uh, turn the lights on, and we do have lights in all cop cars. Uh, whether or not there is a light bar or not, or just for some reason can't add uh, light bars, so whatever. But here's the uh, the horn, and here's the horn with sirens. And then we just start go chasing people around. And this is the uh, just one of the uh, one of the five cop, uh, you know, compounds or whatever. Uh, the sirens will automatically turn off. So let me, uh, here we go, spawn a uh, SUV. These are the shops that you have. So this car shop, uh, SUV. You can get it in uh, black or police. So we'll get it in the uh, police. Oh, yeah. It's pretty. Let's see here. Unlock. I just noticed now that text right there is backwards. It's interesting. Um, so let's get the lights on this guy. All right. So there's some of the cop cars. I mean, we have more. Uh, let me get the helo. This is the uh, police hummingbird. It's pretty sweet. Don't mind that backwards now, so I'll get that one day. Well, this little girl. Uh, no lights on it, just the collision lights and the spotlight. But I'll tell you what, you feel pretty badass when you're like coasting down like a borderline at nighttime with the spotlight on. Looks pretty sweet. And uh, so, yeah, it's, you know, it's a work in progress. I've done a lot to it, like I said. I mean, this map, you probably won't find many other maps like it. I have uh, plenty of drugs to do and you know plenty of stuff for cops to do and I kind of made it to where you know like over here like there's probably not gonna be a lot of cops over here to be honest but you have to come over here and process it um so that's just the fun and uh kind of so I mean as you can see from the beginning of the video to now you can see some changes uh the text in here is white change that so it's a little bit easier to read um yeah it's, you know I love it. It's great learning something new. It's always fun. But uh, yeah, come on and play. Like I said, if you if you come on and play, and I'm on, uh, just give me a little poke in the team speak or uh, hit me up and uh, say, hey man, I saw your video on there or whatever, and, and yeah, I'll throw you ten grand. Why not, right? What the hell else are we doing? Uh, but that's all I got so far. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm sorry it's been a while. Uh, I didn't really get into it. I didn't get into why. Uh, but YouTube had, had taken down some of my last videos that I put up. Uh, for reasons of violating terms, and I have no idea why. That one of them was a, a freaking tutorial on how to make your game run better. So I, I kind of got ripped off by YouTube, so I'm a little bit bitter. But I wanted to show you guys my new server. Um, I know Armor 3 is starting to get popular again, so uh, I just wanted to, you know, kind of show you what's going on. And uh, if you guys want to come join, come join. I put all the information in the uh, description uh, down below. So thanks, guys. Take care. Bye.